never retreat from a challenge. Our finest hours have come with our backs against the wall. And it's in this land of opportunity that I've built my career as a WWE superstar and beyond. My love of this country is why I give back, especially to the men and women of the military who know firsthand that our freedom is never free. American heroes like Navy SEAL Commander Rourke Denver. In my 13 years as an active duty Navy SEAL, I led assault teams all around the world. Our guys are the very extreme of military operations. Our job is to go hunt evil. We are in harm's way the entire time. Marine Gunnery Sergeant T. Hannum. I spent 19 years in the Marine Corps, and I was the only female to deploy one of the first units in Iraq. When you're riding and it's dark, you can hear the explosion. As a sergeant, you can't show any kind of thing scared. Army Ranger Nick the Reaper Irving. I earned the nickname the Reaper due to the fact that I killed 33 enemy combatants in three and a half months. And Army Sergeant Noah Galloway. After seeing the horrors of September 11th, it motivated me to drop out of college and join the military. It wasn't a career decision. It was what I needed to do for my country. In 2005, my Humvee hit a tripwire that detonated a roadside bomb. The explosion sent my Humvee flying through the air, and I lost my left arm and left leg as a result. Each member of this extraordinary cadre will handpick a team of four ordinary people. All have been impacted by the military in some way. My dad is a Marine. Having that blood flow through me is like such a swelling pride. And run them through punishing challenges inspired by actual military training. Come on, Lisa! These 16 civilians will be pushed to their breaking point. I'm not just giving up. That's exactly what happened. You don't know what real suffering is. Suck it up! Let's go! I'm gonna break. Submerge! Come on! We can go harder. You gotta pick it up! And the only way their journey ends is to give up, ring out, and go home. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but the doing, baby! Figure out a way to dig deep. Finish strong. In the end, one team will stand united beside oh, their leader victorious. With a chance to take home one million dollars. Give it all you got. All of it. No, no, no. Come on, let's go. Who will rise to the occasion? All we ask for is all you got. Show the world they have American grit. Welcome to the wilderness. Oh, my God. It's John Cena. Welcome to the toughest challenge of your life. Ooh. Every single one of you has said the exact same thing. When faced with a challenge, you won't give up. I dig that. But this competition will put that to the test. But if you want to win this thing, you will have to share the same traits of the brave men and women who defend the freedoms of this great nation. Courage, perseverance, most importantly, teamwork. Because in this competition, you'll be broken into teams of four. In the end, each surviving member of the winning team will win $250,000. And if you can set aside your differences, fight alongside one another, the winning team will walk away with up to $1 million. Each team will be given one leader. And to lead the best, you need the best. These individuals are the best. Each a decorated U.S. military hero in their own right. They survived their own military training and are now excited to take on the challenge of training you, civilians. They're about to decide who they want on their team. Rest assured, they will stop at nothing to make sure the winner comes from their ranks. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. See, these individuals were watching you today. Move it out! Let's go! We've been putting these civilians through hell today. We're going to be rappelling over this bridge. Forced marches, rappelling off a bridge. We're doing this so we can see what they're made of. Hold on. I'm trying. I've seen some people hesitant. I've seen some people crying. We're going down together. Okay. Enjoy in a moment. 75 to 80% of the people that show up to SEAL training don't make it. 
This is very simple. All I need to do is find four. Yeah, buddy! I don't need the others. I need four that can be on my team. On top of watching you today, the cadre have done their homework. They know who you are, your setbacks, your accomplishments. I'm going to give you a few minutes to go inside, fight amongst yourself, and decide which competitors go where. Being a ranger, I've worked with the highest elite caliber of human beings on the planet. I'm not sure how these civilians are going to measure up to that, but I think it's going to be an interesting game. Well, what'd y'all see today? I know who I want. I don't know who just made you boss here. That's pretty. That's a pretty good question. <laughs> what part of the Marine Corps don't you get? That trainer. A little bit cocky. Yeah. I don't you want know it. what? I think I can fine tune them. You're not trying to psych them out, are we, with the short sleeves, are we? They're already psyched out. I think you're the right person to tune them. I think I, I can fine tune them. I think I can give them some mentorship, so. and I can right. go ahead and fine tune them. There's always that fine line between confidence and cocky. But that's OK, because in the Marine Corps, we know how to go ahead and do that attitude adjustment and break you down. I like the cop, that quiet professional. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going over? Of course I'm going over. So are you. Oh, my God, this is insane! Yeah, he was one of my favorites, too. My name is Jim Vaglica. I've spent 16 years on a regional SWAT team. My team got involved in the capture of the Boston Marathon bomber. People think that I'm intense, but if you can't handle it, then you really shouldn't be hanging around with me. You got the cop, you can have him. I mean, I took the whole team out of it. Forrest brought him up the hill. As I turned around, there's Tabitha, the little fire plug. I love it, Tabitha, right up with the big dog. There's something there that just catches me. I'm excited. My name is Tabitha, but my nickname is Goldie. I'm a full-time mom, and I'm also a star in roller derby. Don't be fooled by all this red lipstick. Do not think for one minute that I'm not the girl to stand up and hold my ground, OK? I want the lumberjack. Who doesn't want the lumberjack? I need these crates across this bridge. Come on, big boy. Let's go. Give me the youngest one. He's got to be 21. Oh, is yeah, that the yeah, wrestler? The wrestler, wrestler, yeah. My name is Cam Zagami. I'm a professional wrestler. I'm a small guy in a big man's world, but I have the mindset to make it. So for me, it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. A total superstar, but I still live with my parents. Yeah. I'm looking at Cam being the brawn behind Jim's brain. A complete unit needs that balance to operate effectively as a team. I want that in a NFL player. My name is Tony Simmons. I'm a former NFL football player, and now I coach wide receivers in college. I can do what these young guys can. I'm just sitting in an older body. When the other one was crying and not feeling sure about it, he implemented teamwork. Nobody can take this from me. You got this. I don't want the drama. I don't want the crybabies. But did she go down? She, she went, went down. She went down with someone coaching But she her. did it with coaching her, exactly. OK. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Oh my God. I think that's something to work with. My name is Lisa Trogett. I'm 41. I'm a mother of two, and I'm a bodybuilder. Some people are fueled by others who say you can't. I'm fueled by people who tell me I can't. I really want to be a Rocky for moms. You can take the uh, crab egg. Okay, I'll, I'll give y'all this. Y'all let me have the one that struggled today and the lumberjack. I can make something with that team. Okay. Out of all these people, I'm hoping to find four that I could see actually making it in the Army. We've all said who we want, what we'll take. That's yeah, I it. Think, I think yeah. we've made our decision. And when it's all said and done, we all know who's going to come out on top. This Rangers lead the way. <laughs> Let's do it. Take a good look at your teammates. They are your lifeline here. In this competition, your teammates cannot vote you off. In this competition, your mentors cannot have you eliminated. Hell, I can't even send you home if I want to. The only way you get eliminated is when you give up. Ring out, go home. Tomorrow will be your first challenge. It's your first chance to show your teammates, your mentors, myself, and the world exactly what you got. Good luck. I think there are some competitors that we're not going to look out for. But my background is leading SEALs. So I want my team to go in against the best athletes. That's where you want to be. You don't want to beat easy opponents. You want to beat the best opponents. This competition is going to be tough. Not only will they be competing as teams, but they'll also be living together as teams. This is where the winners sleep. That's my bed right there. You can be right here. And I know from firsthand experience in the military that living with individuals after training when exhausted isn't easy. Well, first off, let's get to Hold know on. each other. Yeah, I want to check out the house. Who cares? Right. It's still going to be there when you're done talking. I know. I'm Maria King. 
Everyone knows me as a mother whose photo went viral. I'm the no-excuse mom. Some people said that I was a fat shamer. I'm not going to apologize because I never said you were fat. I work out a ton. I persevere. I'm a winner. I do care a lot about strength conditioning and pushing myself to the limit. I'm Chris Kruger, and I'm a strength coach to the stars, and I help those great people to be even better. I am not content to be normal. Normal people are weak and stupid. I feel very confident in this squad. Is that even We fair? just got the money. <laughs> <laughs>
thinking like, how can I help my team? Let's speed up a little bit. I got it. I got it. Oh, everybody's close. Stop. Everybody's close. You want me to run to the right? I'll run to the right. You want me to run to the left? I'll run to the left. Team Noah's making their move. I will not be the weakest link on this one. After coming from last place, Team Noah's taking the lead. Who's that loud? Come on. All right, they're at the second obstacle. They have to cross that six-foot divide, and the best way to do it is by using that rope. It takes teamwork in this one. Set the log on top. Everybody start getting up. That's a great idea. Hold the end with the rope. Watching them work as a team and not really knowing each other yet, I'm impressed. And it reminds me a lot of the military, how we're kind of thrown together and have to work together. I got it. Go. You don't need the rope. No, no, we need the rope. Team is yelling at us to not use the rope. It's physically impossible. I'm sorry, guys. Hold it down. Hold it down. If that's her thinking, that's baloney. Guys, go. Team Noah's figured out how to use the rope and is making it across. He's hard. Everyone else seems to be struggling. Get as much grip as you can up front. I hit my head against the log. Oh, my God. All right? Come on back. Come on back. We got it. But I just remember getting right back up, knowing that we had to start over again. You you help, 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 help. Help. Oh, damn it. They know they screwed up, but being a sniper, sometimes you miss a shot. You got it. Don't let it get to you. And you have to suck it up and just drive on. You got to focus, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost there, guys. This is the last leg. You guys only look tired. Chest up, let's go! We got that! Go! We're going, we are with you! Uh, oh. Yeah! This is it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! They're at the final obstacle. They need to add up the year that they were born to get the combination for that lock. Okay. 1968. 74. Final obstacle, math, and this is where I get really nervous. How many years were you oh, born before 2000? 26? Come on! Nothing solved! Nothing solved! We see two teams at the finish line, and they're still working on getting everything figured out. We have a chance. Now we got ourselves a party. Place it down! The combination is some of all four of your birth years. 77. All four teams are still trying to solve the last puzzle. This is anyone's game. You bet you're not moving it. We got to figure out that. Are you serious? I'm moving it. You don't see me no, moving baby, it? No, baby. We got to add these okay, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven, Calm down. One, what is your last number? Four. Yes. Oh. Yep. Here we yes. go. Yeah. We have a winner. The winner is Team No. Don't matter how many times we fell, we got back up. Looking at my team at this point, I got some concerns. Are we going to be the kind of team that's going to be able to work together, or are we going to get in each other's way? So here we are. Team Noah wins the evolution. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> that means the three losing teams will have to send one member from your team to face the most brutal of military exercises. In American grit, we call this course the circus. And the circus does not end until one of you gives up, rings out, goes home. Rourke, T, Nick, you have a decision to make because it will be you who chooses which member of your team goes to face the circus. You certainly got some thinking to do. Losing that was a tough pill to swallow for me. We had it. But what T was telling us to do was physically impossible. I am so ticked off right now. The team failed because of poor leadership. She's our mentor. Yeah, but if you have a coach and you're like, let's keep running the wrong play, that's never going to work. How do you feel? Physically, I'm just, I'm just kind of pink. Like, I don't care about physically right now. I got to get over it in my head. I think Jim, because he is the oldest guy here, struggles with quote unquote failing. Our different backgrounds, each of them played a different part in how we were able to get through it. And I wanted to find out where we come from so that we can keep winning these evolutions. I recently lost 50 pounds. My mom, she got advanced stage lung cancer, and I just kept, you know, emotional eating, eating, eating. And then one day, my husband said, Lisa, I will always love you, but I'm just not attracted to you right now. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess I better go to the gym and figure this out. I was so mad at my husband for saying that because it hurts, you know, but that kind of inspired me to start on this whole path of fitness. Bodybuilding just changed my life. I'm so much happier. My husband and I 
we're so much closer. My only goal was to just step on stage. It was never to win. That, that only just happened this year. You wanna go in the hot tub? Yeah. I have my hot tub here. Hey, Abercrombie model. You know what? <laughs> He's posing. There you go. Not posing, that's just my body. <laughs> actually, I know when people pose because that's the kind of industry I'm in. Did you know that I'm actually the cover model of American Fitness Magazine this month? And I was the cover of Shape Magazine. I did not know that. Humble yeah. brag, wow. So I actually, know, I actually know when people pose. You sound like a fake expert to me. Really? Yeah, you do. Okay, then describe it. How am I fake? Oh, hold on. Let me talk about myself and how great I am again. <laughs> When did I ever talk about how great I am? Only the thing about the magazine just came out of nowhere. I'm not gonna argue about this. Oh, you're so distasteful. Don't... You're the worst person. Okay. Maria thinks things are coming out one way and come off a little bit offensive and abrasive. What in the wide world of sports makes her so insecure about me? Because you have a good body. And she's the fitness model with a terrible body? <laughs> Chris just attacked me in there. What did he say? Let me tell you, he was like this. You're so fake. I was like, oh my God. This is day two in the house and he's got you frazzled. You gotta bring it down. I cannot stand a crybaby. As a woman, as a single mom, as a caregiver to my niece. And then he's like, you, got, you walk around like you're a fake expert. You need to take that on somewhere, sweetheart. I can't be sitting there arguing with him. I'm not gonna give him that much energy. He is like the epitome of what's wrong with our fitness in America. This is the nightmare of losing the evolution. Now I need to send someone to the circus. Rourke! Rourke! Team, what's up? <laughs> in SEAL training, a circus is not cotton candy and juggling clowns. It is a mythic endurance beating for hours. I've got to send one of my athletes. I have no idea what they're going to face, and I want to know what this team thinks about who should go in. One of the things we do in the SEAL teams, after every mission, we do what I call these Viking councils. The fundamentals of a Viking council are brutal honesty. Mm -hmm. So do this, kind of give me, this is why I probably should go to the circus, and this is why I shouldn't go to the circus. If it's an obstacle course, I would volunteer myself. Tabitha. I'm really good at quick stuff. Yep. Quick, quick, quick. Yep. Reasons not to go, we don't know what the circus is. Even though I am a smaller woman, a smaller athlete, as far as our team is concerned, we're all eligible for Team Roar. I mean, I'm willing to go if it's something that I'm going to be best at. Put me in, coach. Look, I love the answers. I mean, I feel like everybody made my decision point exceedingly hard. My team didn't have a shortcoming where I say, obviously, you're the person to go in. So it becomes more of a tactical decision on who I think has the best shot of coming back to us in the service. How do you guys feel today, though? Like, you don't feel like... I'm, I'm the oldest person. I, I thought I'd feel worse. I think overall, we were proud of ourselves working as a team. Yeah. We failed the mission. To him, we failed. What do you think about the circus coming up? What do you I, think about it? I didn't sleep about it. Because I've already thought about, as a leader, who I would choose. Who? I'd send Jim. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, you need some confidence. You need I've a win confidence. under your belt. I like Maria, but I'm certainly not going to volunteer somebody to go to circus. You know what I mean? So who would you sit if you had to pick? I would like to volunteer. It's just the unknown. But I have no quit. That's the big thing is not yeah. giving up, I think. Because I remember, uh, when I was in Afghanistan, we were surrounded by a few hundred guys, and it was a team of uh, six of us. We start calling in for airstrikes on us, you know, so we won't get captured and get our heads, you know, yeah. chopped off, whatever. Right when we were uh, thinking everything's about to go down and call it quits, my best friend came in with a machine gun team and helped us get out. Five minutes after that, I watched him take uh, two rounds and bleed out. I think Nick is an incredible leader. He's a sniper. He sees perspective like nobody else. If you can't put your mind, body, soul, anything into it, then what's the point of doing it at all? He's a man of little words, but when he does say something, it's powerful. I wanted to try to do something for you because you won. I hope you accept my little token of food as a, as a thank you for allowing me to be a part of something really special. Thank you. This is my favorite food, though. Steak. <laughs> Steak. Have you tried bison? Yes, I have. But actually, what's really good is beaver. Yeah. Really, a lot of people eat beaver. The other moms at the PTA are going to be so jealous. 
because I just had lunch with John Cena. You guys did kick ass out there. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you. I did a shot of whiskey with John Cena. I mean, how awesome is that? <laughs> Toughest thing is always to stay on top of the mountain. Good luck the rest of the way. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. So what do you think? There were some times when I was in mode of like, I can't run right now. And that was just one of those things I just can't. I felt like I did not do the best for my team. Drive, Tony, drive. I can't. Now we're going to the circus. Whoever she chooses, we just got to come back home. What about you, Chris? <sighs> my takeaway was we can't trust you. You can't trust me. Why is that? You gave us the worst advice possible that only made us slower. Uh -huh. You told us to pull the log between our legs. The obstacle is designed to use the rope. What was your takeaway? Is there anything in that My challenge that you could have yes, done different? I will take ownership. Oh, so you do take ownership now. I'm not blaming you. I'm okay. saying I blame myself for listening to you. I should have taken the lead earlier. I cannot trust you. You gave us bogus advice, okay? Pause and then we're that. talking about... Hey, lead, hey, lead. I said How pause. About... Pause on that. Okay. What do you think? Do you feel like I let you down in this challenge? You didn't let me down. I was, like, listening, and I know you're there to help us think. You're there to coach us. This is mind-boggling. We would have been better off without you there. Really? We would have finished the drill faster without you. Chris was really disrespectful towards T. That's a woman of the military. You have to respect her. I'm here to guide and to mentor you. The argument, that needs to stop. If this was real world Marine Corps and I had one of my Marines tell me you're the one to f this up for us, I would rip somebody's head off. But with Chris, he's a civilian. So Chris is damn sure lucky. I'm really good at holding in my temper at times. A lot was said today and I'm gonna take a lot back with me. Competitors, welcome to the circus. In the military, a circus is a punishing, seemingly endless physical training exercise. The circuses run during SEAL training are legendary. And I want Rourke to comment on what the circus means to a U.S. Navy SEAL. You know, SEAL training is near mythic in its intensity, physical and mental. And if a class has an issue, we'll implement what's called a circus. Every class that enjoys this savage beating that takes place uh, will never forget it. Behind you is the circus. American Grit's version is a brutal obstacle course that will send the competitor through 13 muscle draining obstacles. Up cargo nets, ascending to 30 foot treetops, tumbling down to the base of this canyon, culminating on that platform right there. And that's when the test of endurance will begin. That's when you'll have a chance to prove you have American Grit, because the circus does not end when one of you gives up just like any U.S. Navy SEAL throwing in the towel, when you give up, you will ring out. And when you ring out, your journey on American Grit is over. The three of you facing this circus is about to become very real. Now, T, I heard there was some dissension in the ranks in your team. Having led Marines for almost 20 years and to have my leadership questioned, you know, by a fitness trainer, it kind of puts it out there. Care to comment? I think we hashed it out already. Oh, it's been taken care of. Right, Chris? So now it's time to find out who Nick, T, and Rourke have chosen to face the circus. Nick. I'm going to send Jim. I got this, brother. I know. I got this. Nick, why? When I was overseas, I missed a bunch of shots, and I would beat myself up really bad over it. In order for me to get out that rut, I had to get back out there, and I have to put Jim in that same position. T, who are you sending to the circus? Do I put up someone who had a down day, or do I put up someone who I think still needs to implement that teamwork strategy? My decision is... Chris. Let's go, Jim! Take his right spot, now, man. Chris is lucky I just pushed him. If we were on the street, I would have knocked his ass out. T. Why? I think Chris has what it takes to make it through this challenge, but maybe come back a little bit more humble and be better for the team. Rourke? Well, I'm going to send one of the biggest members of my team. But I'll never really think of size. What you bring physically to the table is what I'm looking for. It's what's in here. So I'm going to send my girl, Goldie. What's up? 
I'm not afraid of the circus. I was born to two teenagers. So from the time I entered this world, I was the underdog. I think Goldie is going to rip through this course and send a message that everyone in this fight is capable. You've been chosen to face the circus. Before we get started, I'd like to privately talk to each individual running the circus. I think Goldie is going to kind of be the underdog, but she's got toughness that is earned. I mean, you can't buy it. You can't teach it. But that's something we've learned in SEAL training, is that it's about your heart. She's just got that in her. Jim, how you feel? Feel great. You had a rough first evolution. There was maybe some speculation that you were down on yourself. I was. This is redemption. Why? Because Nick knows I have the skill set to defeat this course. Do you think your age at all will play into this at all? No. I know Jim's age could factor in, but with a guy like Nick, it factors more in for experience. Now, did Jim just have a bad day? I truly wish you the best of luck. Or is that a sign of things to come? I want to know how you feel about being chosen. I'm at peace. You say you're at peace, and I can genuinely see that a smile on your face. I want to get to know what's behind that smile. My smile started as a way to cover up pain. My sister, she fought sickle cell disease. They've told us plenty of times to say our goodbyes to her. And then one morning, I get a phone call, and she's gone. And... <laughs> I miss her. My sister fought through death. Surely I can fight through this circus. That's why I'm looking forward to this. I want to make her proud. You're up against a tough group. Thank you, you so much. You get the hell out there today, OK? I will. When you have something to fight for, when your body is ready to say, I'm out, this can take over. What's up, John? How you doing? You seem excited and focused. Yeah, What's going well, on? I get to do the obstacle course. There is no way for me to possibly question your athletic ability. For me, your character may be in question. Your mentor is a gunnery sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. When you turned 10 years old, she was in boot camp kicking ass with men. When you were getting your driver's license, she was in Iraq in combat. And she was responsible not only for her own life, but the safety of more than a 1,000 Marines. In 2008, while you were discovering yourself, your mentor was being awarded by the United States Marine Corps and the White House. You sleep under a blanket of freedom that she has provided for you. Number one, I did question her leadership skills because they were in question. Oh, okay, please and finish. If you're a football coach and you keep running the wrong play, you yeah. go to the coach and you say, we need to change this and this. You got a problem with your coach from now on, don't talk to your coach in front of the team. I think you owe T an apology. I do hope Chris comes back. He has the maturity level of a child. And I think this competition would help him evolve into a man. You will take your places down at the start line, and I will blow a horn. When I do, you will sprint up to that cargo net. And that starts your 13 obstacle competition. Yeah, the whole obstacle course, it comes straight out of the military handbook. That's one of the main reasons why I picked Jim. He comes from a tactical background. I come from a tactical background. You're all going to end up the endurance platform. The first one there gets to the rest those drain muscles because the endurance does not start until everyone reaches the platform. Now, the obstacles you encounter on the circus today, they'll remain permanent. The thing that is ever changing is the endurance challenge. Today's endurance challenge, all you have to do is bear the weight of your sandbag for as long as you can. The first sandbag that drops means one of you gives up. When you give up, you will ring out. And when you ring out, your journey on American Grit is over. Head to the starting line. I sent Chris into the circus because that would be the best way for him to have that quick, swift piece of humble pie. He's going up against Jim, who's the oldest competitor, and Goldie, the smallest. As long as he listens, he'll do well, and he'll come right back to the house even stronger. Three, two, one, go. Neck and neck at the base of the cargo net. Let's go, Chris! That three-story vertical climb is designed to wear down both those arms and legs. Looking good, Goldie, just like that! There you go, Jerry. All right, Goldie! Throw it down. There you go. Chris, the first one to get up and over. Jim very close behind. Right there, Jim, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Stay strong, Goldie! Goldie, you're right with good him. Job, perfect, Rick. perfect. Watch your footing. Nice and smooth, Jim. Goldie, nice and easy. You're doing great, Goldie. You got plenty of time. Easy day. Use those legs. Chris those is legs. starting to climb the giant's ladder. Make it look easy. 
a more than 30 feet high wooden log structure guaranteed to burn out the whole body. Jim, go straddle. Use your legs. There you go. There you go, Chris. Chris onto the high beam first. Let's go, Jim. And you can use an arm to exactly. You are doing awesome. Jim on the high Not beam yet. right now. Chris out in front. Remember, finish first and they get to rest those worn out muscles before they start the endurance portion. Goldie, you're fine. Come on, Chris. You're not even tired, Jim. Goldie is up and over the ladder. Come on, Chris. You're almost done. Hey. Oh, we love you, Goldie. Ah. Oh, oh. Chris at the base of the downward fall. Chris has reached the endurance platform. Good job, Chris. Now just focus on resting. Focus on resting. Just roll down. There you go. Just like that. Save your arms. Rest them down here. Come on, Goldie! Come on, Jim! Come on, Jim! Jim has reached the endurance platform. Let's go, Goldie! There you go. All right, Goldie! Use your legs. Leg. We love you, Goldie! Goldie has reached the endurance platform, but will get no rest. Competitors, on your mark, the endurance challenge has begun. Come on, Jim. Keep your arms relaxed. And just be prepared to suffer. And you can do it. If me and Goldie go back to the house, I will be the happiest man. You were the first one through that course. You got some good rest. Now just hold on. Looking good. Young over there. Just a nap. Oh, you're just taking a nap down there. I'm I, I'm sorry. I thought you were struggling. Don't overextend yourself, though. Chris is getting a stretch on, mocking you both. <laughs> Shots fired. Get mad. I don't have to get mad, man. Prepare to be here until tomorrow. You can do it. I know you can beat these guys. We are going to wait until one bag drops. Someone soon will give up, ring out, go home. Uh, it should have been 30% of my body weight. Ooh, man. The confidence is high. Drop the mic. Reek of confidence, Chris. That's the cologne I put on every morning. <laughs> confidence. <laughs> That's a strong smell from here. Shot him, bro. Oh, well. I'm so proud of you. Keep Thank killing you. Goldie, like a statue, never wavering. Amazing resolve. Goldie, how heavy is your bag? I don't even know even like a yes, this clown. Focus. Don't do the head game. Keep it up, Jim. Jim, you starting to tire? I ain't going anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's burning. It's not burning at all. No, not me, them. Mm. Shut him up. The rain's coming. And with the rain, come slick ropes. You know as well as I do, when grip fails, it is gone. Make sure you don't slip. Goldie has no wasted movements. What's gonna happen is Chris is gonna fumble. Hey, Joe. Joe, me. I just think it's incredible how disrespectful he is to everybody. I'm gonna let you just keep talking out of your ass not, over there by yourself. About, we're all talking okay, about it. I'm gonna let you keep talking out of your ass. Just wait. Hey, 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 hey. We are not here to argue. We are here for our team. What the hell is going on up there? But focus. Got it? Focus. You got this. He's hurt. He's hurt. If I can sit out in the middle of nowhere for five days... I can do this for five days. That's what I'm talking about. Editors, you have passed the 40-minute mark. When you hear the horn, you must choose one hand only. You can no longer switch. We got this, Jim. <laughs> you got this, Chris. <laughs> when you hear the horn, you must choose one hand only. No longer switch. <laughs> you got this, Chris. Ooh. All right, Goldie. Got this, Goldie. Oh, I've been resting this one for 10 minutes. Feels brand new. <laughs> you know you already got it. You know that, right? Yeah, you are in the best position to win this better than Jim. Better than Chris. He is already out of the top time. You don't think that's funny? Nope. Nope. That guy is all shut. You still got this. 
Mind over matter. Let's take a nap. Do you want to be the first one to ring that bell? There's going to come a time where you're going to have to find it somewhere. I told you guys this would happen. Goldie, you've got this, girl. Stay in the game. You're looking too good right now. Okay. Focus. Okay. There's weakness in the body. His hand's coming off with this rope. He's not gonna let go. Nobody wants to ring that bell. Hold it. I got you. Hold it. Hold it. He's going home today. Hang in there as long as you can. I think fatigue is starting to set in on Goldie, I'll be honest with you. How strong those hands are. I'll light you for hell. Lock in. Lock in. You lock in. Jim's starting to get a little tired. Hold it. Hold it, Chris. Hold it! Hold it! This is where it gets a little interesting! Oh, good! Oh, it has decreased in size. Stay in there, Jim! Stay in there, Jim! He's doing it! Dig deep! Dig deep! It's over! It is over! Talk about shock! Talk about it! Upset! Thank you, thank you, thank you for believing in me! Thank you for sending me here! Thank you! It is special beyond belief. You showed my daughters, and you just showed your kids what it's all about. I've led some of the highest level performing teams on Earth, and Goldie's performance will rank right up there in my memory for the rest of my life. Goldie? Jim? Congratulations, you have survived the circus. Yeah, go yeah. Lee, Jim! Up in the house! Get your ass up here! I was embarrassed. He had that challenge. Instead of just keeping his head in the game, his cocky attitude has gotten the best of him. Chris, it's time for you to ring out and go home. the bell is a huge disappointment. I feel bad for letting my team down, but I gave my best possible effort. I really respect your service and respect you. Sorry to let you down. You didn't let me down. Because as long as you learn something, you never let me down. Am I cocky? Certainly. If I didn't believe in myself, that's lame. Next time. Brooke, I need you, bro. Ah. What are you doing? Team Team must recover from their first casualty. We're struggling hard. Give it all you got. This is very much the wheelhouse of SEAL training. Find your stroke. Still at full strength, Team Rourke and Team Nick have their sights set go. on Team Noah. It's about what you bring to the fight above and beyond what your body can do. They're going to catch up. Go, go, go. Find it, find it. Who will be the next contestant to give up, ring out, and go home on American Grit? No, no, no.